Hey guys, what's up? It's Anna Louise, and today I am filming my tattoos and piercings video. Um, this video I actually really wasn't wanting to film until later, but unfortunately due to circumstances I am going to go ahead and film this video because basically due to my career choice, which I am going to college to be a teacher, um, I have to have piercings out because I do live in America in the South and it's like not like California or a big place like that so I cannot have piercings in it is a much more strict environment and um, I'm getting up into my level of education to become a teacher where I'm in and out of school so my piercings have to be out and not like ear piercings but my nose piercing so I figured you know I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and I really want to include it in because I was gonna wait till I got more tattoos to film this video but since, you know, I have to go ahead and take it out, I'm going to go ahead and film the video. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get right in. So basically, I have eight piercings total and two tattoos. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and start with the piercings. Some of them have a story, some of them don't. Um, and basically, they're not really like a huge story, but they're just little interesting details. So basically, I have my first holes, my second ones that do not have anything in, um, third holes, my cartilage, dath, same of course on this side except for I don't have a cartilage or dath, but I do have my tragus, um, and yeah, so those are my piercings on my ears, and then of course I have my nose pierced, and I also have my belly button pierced, but basically I do not have my second holes in today because they were feeling kind of infected last night, so I took them out, um, I'm sorry if they look nasty, like I literally think something's up with them, but I guess because the new earrings I was putting in. But anyway, um, my first holes I got done at the age of five, um, it was a really big deal for me, I was so excited. And throughout the years I would like beg my mom to go get more piercings, and I mean this is when I was in elementary school, and of course she was like, no, 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 but then like in fifth grade I begged her and I really wanted my cartilage pierced, I was like, please, and she was just like, no, but... I will settle for getting your second holes done. So I was like, okay. So I got my second earlobe piercing done, which also you can't see, but I was super excited about it. And I felt all cool because I was in fifth grade and I had my second holes done and not many people did. And then flash forward to eighth grade, I still hadn't had my cartilage done and I really wanted it. And it was one of those things where I was like, can I have it done? And she was like, when you turn 16. But, um, it's so hot, sorry. Time for changing then and things were getting more like I guess acquainted to society like society was becoming more like accepting of piercings and tattoos and stuff so basically in eighth grade a lot of people had had piercings like that so my mom was like okay you can get your cartilage pierced and I absolutely loved getting this pierced it's one of my favorite piercings um, I absolutely love it so I got that done in eighth grade and so now freshman year of high school um, once again, piercings are more accepted, and a lot of people have them, including, like, body piercings. So, I was basically, I wanted my belly button pierced for a very long time, because my sister got it done when she turned 18, and, yeah, um, but my parents wouldn't let her beforehand, but that was in her time, and then now, you know, like I said, things are getting more, like, accepted in society, which is great. Um, so, I was, like, begging her, my mom was like, no, 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 and then I had my first high school breakup, and... Um, it was my first, like, real boyfriend, and it was hard on me, and I was just, like, really upset, and my mom was like, okay, you can get your belly button pierced, and she just decided to do it just to, like, kind of make me happy and feel good about myself, and it's kind of like one of those things, like, when you have a breakup and you change your hair color, well, I wanted a new piercing. That's, like, kind of like the theme of my piercings, um, but she let me, and she was like, if you can do it, then do it, you know, like, if I can handle, because I've been watching YouTube videos, and I'd watch them over and over and look at that big needle and like freak out because I was like, oh my god. Because it was so much different than an ear gun like at Claire's, you know, like getting your earlobe pierced. And I'd never had a body piercing before. But I went into a tattoo shop and I got it done and it, I was so surprised. It did not hurt as bad as I thought at all. Like, at all. So I was really pleased with that and I have actually had to have my belly button pierced twice. And it sucks. I'm not going to get it re-pierced again. I still have a ring in, but what sucks about it is that no matter what my stomach like my skin wants to reject the piercing so it's like hanging by a small thing of skin and I'm sorry if that's gross I will show you my belly button piercing um, and if you like don't want to look at it you don't have to like I, I feel like some people may not like it or find it kind of nasty but it's hanging 
by not that much of skin. And it starts out hanging out by a lot of skin, but then it just kind of rejects it. So, and that's the second time it's done it, and I'm not going to get another scar and redo it because the scar from the last time is still there, so I'm just going to leave it. My next piercing was another breakup piercing, and it was after I had a really bad relationship. Very, very bad relationship. A lot of bad things happened in that relationship. Yeah, that shouldn't happen to anybody, but um, this is when I was 16, and I had gotten through that breakup, and now here is about my nose piercing, and this was one that my mom would never agree to. Now, this is something that even, like, when my mom was like, oh, when you're 18 or something, I still don't want you getting it done. Like, I know it's your body, but please don't, and it was just, because, like, my parents, they're very old-fashioned, you know, like, they don't like stuff like this, so my mom was like, no, and, um, Basically, when I had that breakup, I was like, well, then can I get my third holes pierced? So she's like, yeah, sure. So I did, and I got my third holes pierced, but that just wasn't enough. <laughs> and, and I wanted my nose pierced, and I begged, and I begged. And, you know, things were just so rough for me. She saw it, and, like, I was just begging, and she was like, well, because your, your 16th birthday is, like, almost here. You know, okay, I'll take you. You can go and do it. And I was super excited because I never expected her to actually agree to let me get my nose pierced. Um, and then she did, and I was kind of freaked out, really freaked out actually. Um, but it was my 16th birthday, we had went on a trip to Pigeon Forge, and then the next day me and my mom got back and went to the tattoo place, and I got my nose pierced. And honestly, that piercing hurt less out of any piercing I have, even less than just like my earlobes. It like okay the funny story is is I had to ask if they were done like you can feel the clamp and so I was just like is it, like I just was wondering if that's what it was so I was like are you done and the guy was like yeah I'm done and I was like oh my god because it did not hurt and I was expecting it to hurt so bad but it didn't and basically I have a really good pain tolerance but I I couldn't feel that at all um so that was pretty crazy but um so there was that one and I wore a stud in it forever because the way he pierced it, I can never get a hoop in and I don't know why, but I finally was able to get a hoop in. So I've been sporting this hoop for like a year now. Um, and yeah, so I like the hoop and I don't know, I'm having issues like want, like having to take it out, you know, because I feel like I'm going to regret it even though I know I have to kind of thing. So I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and like pushing it off, but I know I've got too soon, but Anyway, on to my next piercing. My next piercing I got was on my 18th birthday, which in the U.S. you have to be 18 to get a piercing by yourself or a tattoo by yourself without a parental, like, signature or a parent, like, you know, being there, calling, whatever. So, I wasn't ready for a tattoo yet, although I did want one. So, I went with my boyfriend on my 18th birthday and got my tragus pierce, which is this right here. And, basically, that was the worst piercing ever. It hurt it hurt I mean like it hurt terribly bad and it was mm, just having flashbacks it was terrible um and you know I went in there and I was perfectly fine because I was like I have a high pain tolerance like this isn't gonna bother me my other piercings didn't bother me like this is gonna be nothing and it was terrible I was like jerking my seat and ugh, I just like and it took forever like I guess because it's so thick but I don't know there was just something about it that hurt so bad um and it did, the healing process like was pretty bad as well because it got a big bump on it, but it that that did go away and I have not had any problems with it since. But um, just, just a tip for you guys, if you do have piercings and you want, or if you get an infection and you want to try to clean it up and like not take the piercing out, definitely use a salt water mixture. Like basically get sea salt and pour like a whole bunch of it into a little cup and put a little bit of water and stir it around into like a paste and then put it on the infected area like with a q-tip and it will be healed in like three days. I mean I use it for all my piercings and there has not been one piercing that hasn't been like healed from the salt water mixture. Like my nose had a big bump on it one time and it's nasty but like blood came out of it and nasty stuff and um, salt water dried it right up and healed it so definitely try that if you do have an infection on a piercing because I promise you it will help. Um, so yeah. So for my next piercing, which is my final piercing, is my Dave, and I got it right here, or it is right here, and I got it like two months ago, I think now. Um, your Dave piercing is the piercing that is supposed to be known for migraines. Well, I didn't get it for migraines, I got it for fibromyalgia because apparently there's another study that it helps that, and I think I have that, but I'm not for sure. I have 
I've been trying to get tested to see what I have wrong with me. But I was like, you know what? I love piercings and it can't help or like can't hurt to try. So I got it done and this one on a pain level didn't really hurt. It really didn't. I was scared this time because my trach is hurting so bad. But anyway, that one didn't hurt and it didn't help either. But those are all my piercings and basically like I say on a pain scale, the least painful one was definitely my nose. The most painful one was my tragus and then um, the most second painful one would have had to be my belly button and then my ears just from that. Like I don't mind pain at all of like piercings and tattoos which we're about to get into right now is another story. I definitely love getting tattoos and the pain is another thing that I was shocked about. Like I feel no pain. Okay well I felt pain but like no like oh my god like this hurts pain when I got them and I have two tattoos and I got them on the very same day um and basically I've been wanting tattoos since I was a little girl I would always put like the little rub on ones on my dad has tattoos and it was something that I always wanted but I guess I never really thought I would get because my mom was like don't you ever get those which you know was the same thing that happened with the piercings but you know times change and society changes which is good and things are becoming more acceptable which I hope eventually tattoos become more acceptable in the workplace because um, I really want to have tattoos I really want wrist tattoos I want one on my arm I want tattoos and elementary school education isn't the best place for tattoos so hoping for society to change um, but basically you know I'd wanted tattoos since I was a little girl and um, for my 19th birthday is when I got my first two tattoos, which are the only tattoos that I have. Um, I was scared about the pain, um, but not really. Like, I was scared, but then not because I'm good with pain. Um, and basically, my friends have had tattoos, and they were like, you know, it's just an annoying pain. It's not something where you're like, ah, get me out of here. Like, it's this annoying little pain, and it's just like something that you want to go away, but it's not like super bad. So, you know, I'm a really naturally nervous person, so I was more just nervous because I'm always nervous. Um, but yeah, um, on my 19th birthday, I, I've been thinking months before about what I would want, and I came up with the most perfect idea, um, and the idea was to get a little moon and a sun. So basically, the moon and the sun, it is on my foot, and it represents me and my boyfriend, which I know a lot of people don't agree with that, and a lot of people would you know, say that's wrong, but me and my boyfriend, our relationship is 100% unique, it's 100% different. We've went through a lot together in the almost three years that we've been together, and basically, we have grown together, changed a lot through my health conditions, a lot of things have changed and been different, and, you know, it's, it's a totally different situation, and we are getting married, we're getting engaged soon, and, you know, it's something that is not just like a piddly relationship at all, it's not like a meaningless one, and we believe that, we don't believe in divorce, of course, unless, you know, you're beaten, or, you know, there's a real reason, but we believe on working things together and sticking it out, because we believe in true love, and, you know, he's helped me through everything, and the sun and the moon stands for the sun, him, and the moon, me, and that sun him because he lights up my life and I am the moon because I'm more of a dark, quiet, shy and I just feel like that represents like feminine, like I feel like I thought I read somewhere that the moon was more feminine and that it, I just felt like it represented me more like a quiet, shy, dark kind of thing and you know he's the big sunshine and he's always so lively and so jokingly all the time and excited all the time and like has so much energy and spirit about him and he is the light in my life and that's why I got this tattoo and I got it on my foot like I said and mind me I do have crusty feet I hope you can see it but here is my tattoo on my foot the sun and the moon and I absolutely love it I love black and white tattoos both mine are black and white but yeah here it is and I will still insert a better picture but like I say I have alligator feet and I'm sorry about that I don't know why I try to moisturize but my feet just stay crusty. But yeah. And then my second tattoo is just the smallest little outline of a heart. And it is on my rib. This one um, is also kind of for my boyfriend. Um, it's more just like a cute little thing for right now. But I do want to get something by it. Either something that has to do with my children when I have them. Or um, another thing like of, for me and my boyfriend. I'm not for sure yet. But I really want to get the little outline of the heart first. So that I could add to it later. So that is that. And I will also insert another picture of it. Um, which on the thumbnail I'm also going to insert pictures. So you will definitely see better pictures of my tattoos. Um, but 
you know, I was so scared when I walked in. Like, whew, I was so nauseous. And because I always get nauseous, my stomach starts hurting. But um, the tattoo artist actually let me hold the tattoo gun. And he was like, push this button. And I did. And it, like, started buzzing and all that. And honestly, I think the buzzing and just the way it sounds kind of makes it worse. Um, but, you know, once he actually put the needle to my foot, I actually started laughing. I was like, is this it? Like, is this really it? Because it literally did not hurt at all. It was like this really annoying little burn. That's about it. Like this little pinchy burny feel that was like nothing. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like my tragus piercing hurt worse than that. And I got my first two tattoos on two of the places that people say are the worst places to get tattoos. Um, like most painful. But it did not hurt like at all. I mean, after a while it kind of got annoying. Like more annoying, if that makes sense. But it was never like any really bad pain that was like, oh my god, why am I doing this? Now, ink does fade a little bit and you have to get like it retouched just depending on location and such so when I did go to get my tattoos retouched up now it did hurt it hurt worse um, and I'm guessing maybe because of scar tissue or something I'm not for sure I'm, I'm thinking that's what it was and it did hurt then but the initial getting the tattoo didn't hurt like hardly at all and I'm definitely getting more but the touch up did I will say it did um, but it was definitely not enough where I wouldn't get another one you know so yeah, um, that's basically it about the tattoos, um, basically, I'm trying to think, for healing, um, I just use coconut oil, coconut oil is great for everything, I put it on everything, don't scratch your tattoos, even if it itches, just pat them, because scratching your tattoos will draw the ink out, so yeah, those are my tips, um, but anyway you guys, that is my tattoo and piercing tag video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, or the little, my little face, it'll be like right up here, go ahead and hit that to subscribe, please, 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 and you can watch another video like right over here, um, so please click on those, and yeah, so please make sure to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up, because I love your thumbs, and I would love to have a big thumbs up from you guys, um, and I'm always thinking of new videos to create, and I can't wait to create them for you, and please leave a comment down below, let me know if you have tattoos, let me know what they are, I would love to know, um, and tell me how bad they hurt for you or if they didn't hurt and yeah you guys hope you have a great day or night or whenever you guys may be watching this and i will see you guys in my next video